Carjackings, assaults, and gun violence. Packs of teenagers are causing problems throughout neighborhoods in Baltimore City. Tonight, Baltimore City police are identifying two 16-year-olds accused in a string of armed carjackings. One victim was carrying her two-month-old baby. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters tonight. Rick Ritter on the growing problem and what's being done about it. Rick? Well, just that group of teens was tracked down in the stolen car. Two of them are now being charged as adults, and police say they're doing everything they can to disrupt the pattern of these kids just weeks before school lets out. Tonight, we're getting our first look at the brazen 16 year olds. Police say carjacked a woman who was holding her seven week old baby. No clothes description, heard a female screaming. It's come out of Spring Lake and Homeland. It happened Tuesday afternoon in Homeland. Police believe the teens brandished this fake gun before taking off with the victim's car. And citywide, I need to be on the lookout for a car jacking. It's a Volkswagen Passat, unknown color, occupied by juveniles. This woman, who did not want to be identified, was one of the first to call 911. Saw them breaking into cars, uh, pulling trying handles, and we called 911, came down a little further, and one revealed a handgun in his waistband. Just days before the car jacking, police believe the same group of teens was responsible for robbing a 61 year old woman here in this quiet community. Get out of this just weeks ago, a young group of teens attacked a man downtown in the middle of rush hour. Most of the time, these types of crimes are being committed by young people. They're done in groups, and they're allowing this peer pressure to influence their decision making. From March 2016 to March of this year, juvenile arrests in the city are up in nearly every crime, including assault and robbery, burglary, and stolen automobiles. Is that good or is that bad? It means that we're catching more of them committing these crimes, but it means that there are more of these young people committing those crimes. A pattern police are doing everything to break down. We don't disrupt this pattern uh, that they're already involved in. We're going to be talking about them on the end of violent crime as adults. But say accountability has never been more crucial. At the end of the day, people we've seen continue down the path because they don't fear any repercussions for their actions. And police say because those two teens are 16 years old, they will be charged as adults with carjacking. The 14 and 15 year old will be charged as juveniles. Jess. Rick, thank you. Police say it was an anonymous tip on Wednesday that led them to that stolen car and ultimately the teenager's arrest.